Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking a whiskey. Speaking of whiskey, Ben, what is this whiskey bin? We have, bam, this is Keeper's Heart Irish and Bourbon Cask Strength. Okay, so we have a local whiskey. We don't have a lot of Minnesota whiskeys on the channel. Well, so it's a local company, but they source it. Yeah, right? they, they definitely source the Irish whiskey yeah. because it's Irish whiskey. Yeah. And I believe they're sourcing their bourbon now, but this is actually from the Oshag Hennessy Distillery. Is that how it's pronounced? If you know, you know. Some people will get that joke. Okay. Um, no, actually, it's at the O'Shaughnessy Distillery. Okay. Uh, so this is a Minneapolis-based distillery, and they're doing, like, different blending kind of stuff. They've got bourbon and Irish in this one. They have another one where they have a rye and Irish. And do, we, do we know anything about the bourbon? Like, is it... I believe it's sourced. So, I'm okay. not sure where it's sourced from. Okay. I probably could have done a little nah, more research. I'm just but, curious. You know. So this is kind of a local one. It's a bit of a unique... Thing, a mix of yeah two different styles of whiskey yeah. you don't see a ton of that it's definitely and, interesting on the nose but okay and so as far as specs 118, 118 yeah which helps a lot so it's hard to mess it up once you get up that high i think yeah this is really interesting on the nose don't know the age but it's prob well irish whiskey takes a while i think well just it, the... and used casks yeah but this has got, I, I'm definitely noticing the Irish influence. Like the bourbon is not overwhelming this. You know, I feel like if you, if you, if you pit a, a bourbon against like an Irish whiskey or a scotch, something that's aged in new charred casks versus something that's aged in used casks, yeah. it tends to I would really kind of cut so. above that a little bit. Yep. Now, whether you like that or not is, you know, that's totally up to you. But the bourbon, I don't know what the blend is, Sure. but it's definitely not overpowering. I, the first note I get is chocolate. Really? I'm getting apple. I think that's there too, the malted barley kind of notes a little bit. But now that you say it, I'm kind of getting a little bit of that kind of like artificial chocolate, like Tootsie Roll style well, chocolate. Maybe, yeah. yeah. That could be power of suggestion. Well, well, let's see what happens on the palate. Cheers. You know what this tastes like? Good whiskey. It is, uh, well, it is that, yes. Yeah. It's a blend of Irish and uh, bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It kind of like, <laughs> it's a malted barley heavy bourbon or a, <laughs> or a bourbon in <laughs> malted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it. you do get the malt vibes. Yep. But I feel like it's a really, really good blend of them. It, it, I really think it works well together. It's a good, like, they both complement each other. Yeah. I would assume there's far more Irish whiskey in here than bourbon. Just based on flavors, but it's not like 95% five, I don't think. No, I wouldn't imagine that it is. It's closer to 50-50, but I don't even think it's 50-50, I think it's. I would assume that maybe there's more Irish, me, me just too. based on what we were talking about yep. before with the barrel influence. Now that's just a complete and total guess we could be making fools of ourselves right now. Mm -hmm. But just to have enough of that Irish influence, but it doesn't taste like an Irish whiskey. On and it doesn't finish, really taste like a bourbon. I do get some pretty distinct um, malt barley vibes, but it's always kind of like tamped down just a touch because of like the barrel influence from the, mm -hmm. so it's, to be honest, I actually really like it. <laughs> it's a good mix of two whiskeys that maybe on their own or if you like them or you're not, mm -hmm. but together they absolutely work well together. Yeah. And I don't know if this is something I would have come up with as like, Hey, let's blend Irish and bourbon and, and see what happens. I mean, I know there's other whiskeys that do, that'll blend like a single malt or something sure. like that. But I think this is really interesting. It reminds me of kind of like when there's some American single malts that actually age mm. in new charred oak yep. and they kind of have that little extra barrel spice to them. This one definitely has that. Yeah. You know, I think the influence of the bourbon gives it kind of a nice barrel spice, oak spice on the end. And it adds something to the Irish whiskey that I think sometimes personally I find lacking in Irish whiskey. And that's not a slight against Irish whiskey because I'm just, I'm a bourbon guy. Yeah. And so sometimes when you go to a different style of whiskey, there's certain things you kind of miss. Mm -hmm. And maybe also some of the Irish whiskeys I've had have been lower proof, 
a little more standard yeah, yeah. offerings. I haven't really done the unique and high yeah, quality ones. Exactly. Yeah, we've so, definitely done kind of like the basic stuff that we can get our hands on. But I did like a Red Breast 15 mm -hmm. and Red Breast 12, and those were good, but they didn't have that sort of bite that I tend to like. Some of the real interesting character that we get off bourbons that yep. we obviously like because we have a cha channel about the yep. bourbon. That new charred oak thing really does, uh, I think it makes they were onto something with that, yeah. with the bourbon. But I think this is a really nice bun because I think they both complement each other. I think you get the sweetness from the bourbon. Not that Irish whiskey isn't sweet, but you get those nice kind of single malt apple notes. Mm -hmm. But it's not just that on its own. It's a really cool blend yeah. of stuff. So we've had the American, which is basically rye yep. um, and Irish at cask strength. I haven't had the regular offerings. From yeah, cask. like the, just the regular non-cask strength versions. Uh, but I definitely want to explore this brand some more. Yeah. And since they're only like 40 miles away, I definitely would like to make a trip down to the distillery and check out what's awesome. going on. So Totally. All right. Well, and by the way, 50 bucks. So total recommend. For yeah. 50 bucks, I think this is a really cool um, kind of experimental thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good bottle share whiskey. Bring something yeah, totally. a little more unique yeah. to the table. Than just another average bourbon. Yep, for sure. All right, well, this has been Keeper's Heart Irish and Bourbon Cast Strength on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.